All right, we're back again, once again, for another edition of the Fitness Chronicles, the special edition of What's Your Story? I'm here with the incredible Kobe the Cheese Jeffers. And uh, you got to hear my man rap. So that's my first question. How long have you been rapping, man? Uh, so I've been a fan of rap and hip hop like, since you know, elementary school. Okay. school. I've been listening for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I started yeah. actually doing my own until like early 20s. Okay. Uh, so I'm 31 now. So okay. I'd say like. Told you yeah. age, age. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to snitch. <laughs> so yeah, probably eight or nine years okay. off and on, you know, with, with very different So you do something things. unique. You blend a message of like religion with hip hop yeah, yeah, yeah. to get all of the, the young generation. Yeah. Involved. Yeah, man. What made you do that? Well, so I think like, yes, yeah, so the first rap I wrote, it was really inspired from this desire to make a change in the world. And then as I started getting more involved in like religion and spirituality, I was like, I don't want to like throw that to the side. Okay. Like, I need to find a way to be like cohesive with it. Oh, good. Uh, I think that's always been something like in my soul is I don't want to be a hypocrite. So, so I was like, all right, you know, rap has a particular culture around it, particular yeah, yeah, like yeah. themes, but then religion, spirituality also has particular themes. Yeah. So a goal of mine is always like to be authentic in both spheres. Authentic in both spheres. Okay, uh, good. You know, and, and blend the two in a way that like if you're a fan of hip hop, you'd be like, oh, that's, that's some dope hip hop. I like that. And if okay. you're a religious or spiritual Person, you like, can identify. Yeah, those themes, you know, are gonna hit you. So it can be challenging at times, but yeah, you, know, yeah, yeah. you do your best. Are you getting kind of resistance from the older generation? Honestly, no. Like, really? Yeah. Honestly, the, like, there's a few that are like, oh, you're just yeah, because the older crowd is like, oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I would say most older crowd tend to be like, wow, you know, like I had a prejudice about hip hop, but like, oh, okay. actually. And then, and then we have conversations about hip-hop and like, rap, it's just words. It's, it's just words. It's just, like, it's just an expression, that's it. Put to music. Put to music. So, Almost um, like jazz was back in their day. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, for real. So, so that, it can be refreshing, I think. And okay. then the younger crowd, it's like, oh, yeah, this, this is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of different. So. Okay, cool. So my last question is yeah. this. So since today's theme was the empowerment of women, women's roles in religion, yeah, right, right. so we hear a lot of women, women, women. Yeah. So as men, how that affects you? In, in positive or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever kind of way. Honestly, totally positive. Yeah. Uh, I was happy to see that actually. Even like also from like the rap perspective. I was glad. Actually. Same. And, be, and you know, I, I was actually I was talking with a, with a young person next to me. I was like, man, this is all men at. And then we had a short conversation about yeah, yeah, yeah. what was going on. And uh, and we were exploring how like you know the, this is the history of civilization has been predominantly led by men. And it's you know there's been ups and downs. But it's, there's been a lot of doubt. A lot, a lot of doubt. A lot of bad. And like, I know as a man, it's like, we have to take responsibility. We have to take responsibility, yeah. Um, and so, and we know in the Baha'i writings, it, it, it talks about how men and women need to be equal. Yeah, 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 All of humanity to fly. Yeah. So I think as a man, that means like, oh, well, if we have more power, then we need to like relinquish some of that. And you know, okay. Equality to be there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it was beautiful to see like all women speakers and Good. mainly uh, women. They, they, ran, they ran the whole show. They, they ran the whole show. They, I, I was honored to be one of the I was honored up there. To, yeah. <laughs> That's but, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Only two men. I think I might have been the only one up there. Oh, yeah, that's that was, that right. was really cool together. But yeah, no, I think it was. I think it was great. It's very needed for speakers, for those in front of people. Yeah. Also in, in music and rap and hip hop, we need more women to bring. So them. how can they find you? So you just find me. Uh, I just go by my name. It's Colby Jeffers. C O L B Y like the cheese. But Jeffers. J E F F E R S. And I'll have a description in here. So okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So YouTube, Facebook. Uh, that, 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 I know that happens all the time. <laughs> uh, Instagram are, are my main three uh, social media platforms. Okay, so be on there, connect with me. Check out my stuff. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate it. <laughs> Good job, brother. All right, stay, fit, stay focused, and we'll see you next week on another edition of the Fitness Chronicles Special Edition. What's your story? All right. Oh, man. Yes, Yo, what a power. The most wonderful. Brings joy to the sorrowful. Brings hope to the hopeless. Life to the lifeless. The message that we got don't need to watch. Timeless. Let your soul take off. We the pilots. Prep the Southwest, but we're flying united. So just vibe with this. Get hyped to this. Destination, flight to bliss. Love lights up the cold heart. So warm it up. Shine your hands like you really is. Star of the one heaven. Wake the one sea. Leave the one prince. Fruit of one tree. Time. It always happens, y'all. Good thing it's in the lies, Eve. <laughs>